Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up, players? Welcome back to the Baccarat Rounder channel. Let's make some money today. All right, so today uh, I'm coming at you with a kind of a new concept here. At least I haven't seen it um, discussed, and that's using uh, statistics to choose a betting uh, a betting system here. So as you can see, um, as in the last video, uh, I described what my preferred uh, betting system was. That's a slow, methodical way to uh, grab, you know, whatever units your profit target is. I like to choose four units. Um, the The issue with that is it can be it can be a grind, and sometimes if I have a lot of time, I'm fine with that. Um, I'd rather have a slow grind upwards than the uh, the stomach churning ups and downs, and and you know I'm trying to mellow out that. However, if I find a shoe that um, the system is is locked on pretty well, uh, I might be a little more aggressive in what system what uh, betting system I choose here. So here you see uh, one of those shoes. Um, again, we're kind of early in the shoe. We'll play a few more hands to see where we stand here. Um, but I've added a, a couple. Um, a, uh, a couple of uh, stats that I monitor along the way. One is the hit rate. So here we see that we, ha we currently have a 60% uh, hit rate. I don't think that's the most important stat, um, but I think it, it certainly is important. You want to have at least above a 50%. Uh, you can win with uh, even above 40% um, uh, hit rate. And, and, and this system here will go in at ups and downs, uh, but it, it appears to be at least for the last what 20 hands or so it's it's locked in the other important statistic is the maximum loss rate or the mass maximum loss streak and here we see so far in this shoe here uh the maximum loss is uh one one loss so that's that's actually very interesting that um that will uh, uh i think i'll jump on here that will actually um uh, lend itself well to some progressive uh, negative progression systems here. So when I see a shoe like this, I will I will give it a shot for a martingale. I'm not going to go to six. I'll probably go to four levels. Um, but it's a way to uh, capture a quick couple units, uh, very uh, a lot quicker than the traditional uh, up and down system here. So so let's try that. Let's um, we're going to uh, uh, use the martingale here. Um, we'll go up to a maximum of four uh, losing bets. And let's try to capture four units here. So there's our first unit. Um, we captured a quick bet here. Uh, the system is now asking us to skip. So starting with a uh, $25 base unit. Um, and we'll continue to, uh, to, to uh, see how this shoe plays out here. So again, it's, it's higher risk. I don't, I don't think there's any one best uh, bet selection system. I don't think there's any one best... Um, uh, money management system. You, you see a lot of the system sellers out there claiming they've they've cracked the holy grail. I, I've seen everything work and I've seen everything fail. So the key to making money, and I'm becoming more and more convinced of this, is to uh, develop kind of a uh, methodology of analyzing the shoe. Um, I've developed these little these little scripts here, and they just help me do the, some of the math that I like to to look at. Uh, so I can um, focus more on, you know, looking for things that I maybe I should be staying away from, or or um, or talking to you guys here. So so it makes it a little bit easier, and um, you know, and, and and what I find is that uh, certain settings in the in in the script, certain um, betting systems, certain you know, turning bets on and off, uh, they change from shoe to shoe. So I have to adapt. Uh, there's not one system that's going to beat all the shoes here. So again. Uh, there's our second win here, uh, so we're now up two units, uh, two more, and we'll we'll uh, end this video here. I like to keep the video short. That's one of the other reasons too. I haven't uh, posted a um, uh, a session on the uh, wh whatever we want to call it, the slow martingale or the Labochere like uh, system. Here is it tends to be a grind, and and sometimes the sessions can be pretty long. Just processing those videos and uploading them just takes so much time here. So hopefully we can get a quick four units out of the, the Martingale system here and make this video short. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so we're not looking good on this uh, this right here. Uh, and we take a loss. Okay. So our next... And I've tried a couple um, different uh, different uh, systems here um, you know one one three and then start to go up let's for this video just keep it simple just do a straight up martingale double every time we go 
uh, every time we lose until um, until f four losses in a row here. Um, now I may leave this shoe quicker than four units and I'll tell you some of the things I look for. If I start to really, if I go up to obviously my four unit uh, um, uh, max loss, I'll probably end it after that session. I won't press my luck. Um, while things are going well, I like to stay on the shoe here. Um, and what do I mean by things going well? There's our loss. There's our third unit. Um, I look at these stats. So if they stay in the green, um, I, I will, uh, I'll tend to stay on the shoe until I experience some sort of resistance. And sometimes I'm, I'm out with a uh, um, one unit win. And sometimes I've captured 10 units using this technique here. So, so again, the overall concept is not just to pick one money management system, perhaps using some sort of statistics on whatever, you, whatever system you're following. If it's doing well, maybe be a little more aggressive. The Martingale is certainly one of the more aggressive money management systems. Or um, if it's not doing so well, maybe pull back and use the kind of the slow martingale uh, type of system here. So we're looking for our last uh, unit of profit here. If we can pull a four or higher, we'll be happy. Oh, we tied. Okay, so uh, as with uh, many systems, a tie just means a rebet. Um, as we can see, this is uh, it, it, it could be an inflection point here. So we need to be careful. Um, we see that the, the three, uh, the players has not gone more than three deep. Um, however, we've, we've kind of broken this sort of pattern here in terms of, um, uh, chops here. We've got a little bit of longer chops, so it's kind of, I, I, I see a lot of these coiling up here. So hopefully, hopefully it won't break out on us and we can uh, finish this video pretty, pretty quick. Okay. So that's a good start too for the player here. Be nice for a natural eight. Ah, three, we're in the lead. Uh, monkey would be nice. There's our monkey we need. Another monkey would be great. And there's a monkey. So there's our four units. So so um, with that, um, kind of worked out well. Short video. Um, but again, uh, you know, next time you're playing and you're following some particular bet selection strategy here, if it's going well, you might want to consider increasing the aggressiveness of your money management. Uh, and kind of capture those units while things are working well. Um, so, um, and, and when, you know, just the converse is true, when the uh, uh, things aren't going well, either get off that table or mellow out, go to a flat betting or a very mild progressive system and, um, um, you know, try to, try to ride out the storm uh, as, you're, as you're moving on here. So, so this is a concept I've been using uh, uh, quite a bit this week. Uh, using the slow martingale that I discussed in the last video, as well as when I find a good shoe like this here, I'll, uh, I'll jump up to a, a martingale type of system. So that's all for now. Uh, thanks for coming back, and we'll see you next time. On the Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.